I'll tell you a little where I come from. Lots of people want to know that. Where did I come from? Bro, it really don't matter. I've been around. I was born in the East, traveled to the North, settled in the Midwest, and was found back in the East. I never had a place I settled in. I'm just wandering. I come across a sketchy looking dude who offers me money. If the price is right, and the job is formal, I'll do it. I gotta look the part first. Check me out. You like this? Nice pants, nice shirt. Look at this. You like this? The kids nowadays are calling it drip. You like this drip? As CZ Top once said, I don't need a reason why. And I don't need to explain myself. I'm just an accomplice. That's what they call me. The accomplice. The definition of an accomplice is basically an assistant. Someone who assists others in their operation. Like, you know, there's Jimmy with his accomplice. Or, there they go, Johnny Wideangle with his accomplice. The accomplice is usually underrated, mysterious. Nobody knows about them or where they came from. A side character. And I'm totally cool with that. I'll be your accomplice. But I must warn you, I might steal the show. So, a question I have for you is, you wanna do business? You seem like a great catch. I'm down. You wanna hear my plan? Totally. Would you mind sitting down though? I mean, I just, I want you to be chill. Dude, I'm totally chill. You chill? I'm chill, man. I'm all ears. What you got? I hope this looks good and I've got it framed right. It's hard to do without somebody else helping you. It looks about right. I just thought that maybe I could start vlogging or something. You know, I mean, why not? Try something new and see where it goes. I guess, I don't know. All right. This past year and a half has been slow but steady for me. Life has its ups and downs, its fast parts and its slow parts. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Sarah. I'm an actress model, not a model actress, an actress model. There's a difference. I've been going on auditions, getting parts, doing a lot of networking. And for the most part, I'm pretty content with what's going on, I guess, which is a swing in the other direction for me considering that you know I've suffered from some depression here and there. But on an overall basis, I'm feeling really good. <sighs> Who am I kidding? It can really kill you, the depression. Some days I just want to lie around and do nothing. And other days I just want to get up and move, you know? 
Some days I can't concentrate even when I know that there's work to be done. And other days I just can't move because I'm overwhelmed by all the little things. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Right now, I want to focus on the things that I love. Good parts. I love staying creative. I love acting. I love modeling. I love meeting new people. I've been going on a lot of walks recently. Um, places I've lived, places I've been before by myself. I don't have a lot of friends. I used to, but not so much anymore. I just wish that someone new would come my way. You know? I mean, they say that strangers are just friends waiting to happen. Right? I don't know. I've been casting a couple of films lately. A drama and an action thriller. Just getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things. You know? Just doing the things that I love, as I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm just going through life with its ups and downs, its good times and its bad times. We'll see what the future holds. I'm gonna continue on with everything. I'm up for it. All right, all right, let's see how that looks. Oh, looks all right. It's very difficult to do on your own. This is a two-person job, at least. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, the camera almost fell off the tripod. Oh my god, that would have been bad. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll frame it like that. Yeah, like that. <sighs> I just had a vlog or something. <laughs> this whole acting thing. Hmm. So different from my everyday life, but oh my gosh, that's why I love it. I get to act like somebody else for a few minutes a day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I talking to? Who am I laughing to? Oh my gosh. All right, um, all right, <laughs> let's do this. All right, get ready. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, <laughs> for real, seriously. Um, okay. In character, get ready. Hey, I'm Brent. <laughs> um, I was told I should start a vlog um, because it helps with therapy, which is probably something I need because I wake up and I want to do all the things, you know, but then like I get overwhelmed by things. So I just end up staying home all day and you know, I just like enjoy the day, you know, like, like relax. I do some coloring. It's great stuff, you know. <laughs> this is how you vlog, right? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm just going with the flow, you know, like the funky flow, trees will grow, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, uh, well, <laughs> uh, I guess that's day one of the vlog. Mm, day two will probably be more of the same, uh, but hopefully I will be doing more doing and less talking because you don't get places by talking, you get places by thinking, you know? Um, so yes, on day two, I'll like go outside and think about what I want to do. And then like the next day, you know, day three, if you're keeping track, um, I'll get in the car and I'll think about what I want to do. And then on day, on day 10, yeah, day 10, I'll like actually go to the location and then I'll like think about what I want to do and, um, you know, it'll be great. <laughs> uh, and, 
you know, I'll think about what I want to do and then I'll like tell everyone my plans, you know, but like I won't actually take any action to follow through because I think that I don't do, you know? Ooh! <laughs> oh, the hammer fell off the tripod. Oh. Right. Let me see if I can get this thing set up. Looks all right, I think. I don't know. I think I need someone to help me out with it or something. I was told I should start doing this and talk about my life and stuff. I act. I do other things. It's just so weird talking to myself. They call me Greta. Don't worry about my full name. You know what? This sucks. I don't, this vlogging thing is just, someone told me I should start doing it so it would help me with my therapy sessions or something, but it's not me. I hate it. Talking to a camera and recording my every move. Screw this. Are you ready for this? I'll tell you everything. But first, you look a little stressed. You wanna just, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Chill now, right? Yeah, you chill? I'm chill. All right, so yeah, you chill. So, um, I woke up on Tuesday, no, it was Wednesday, no, it was Tuesday, yeah, I slept all day Tuesday, so yes, it, it, it was Wednesday, <laughs> sorry about that, um, so yes, my boy Ricky, he calls me and he's like, hey, Brent, you want to make some money? And I'm like, yes, you know I want to make some money, I'm broke, <laughs> like broke as a joke, you know, my life is a joke, uh, so what do you got? And he's like, well, you know, I just need you to give my boy Jimmy a ride and, um, you know, you get 500 bucks. I'm like, what? 500 bucks? And he's like, yeah, 500 bucks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this will be the easiest 500 bucks I've ever made. And he's like, yeah, I know. You look a little confused. You still with me? I know that's going to Okay, <laughs> okay, just chill. Um, so I go and I pick up his his boy Jimmy, and he's like a skinny looking dude, and he's like wearing black pants and a black shirt. Yeah, and he just like throws his suitcase in the back of the trunk, and he gets in the car, and I'm like, I don't think anything of it. And as I'm driving him from point A to point B, I stop at a red light, and he just like hands me a $500 bill and like runs off. I'm like, yo, that was easy, the easiest 500 bucks I've ever made. And also, did you know that $500 bills exist? <laughs> like, I didn't know, I've never seen one um so you know i get home and i go look in the trunk and there was five thousand dollars in there yeah can you believe that like whoa um and so now i like took a little break got some food did a little bit shopping and i get a text from my boy ricky and he's like um what happened and i'm like um your friend jimmy he just like threw something in the back of the car and then he ran off and he's like well do you still have it and i'm like hells yeah i have it and he's like well you gotta get rid of it and i'm like mm, nah i'll keep it i already spent some of it and he's like well you're in trouble now and i'm like how am i in trouble now you know and um the next thing i know i stepped out of my house and i'm freaking blindsided and now i'm talking to you like who the what are you, man? Oh. Come on, man. Why are you gotta do that? That hurts. Where's the money? I don't know. Come on, Brent. Don't mess with me. Why don't you know? I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because I gave it to Sarah. She's probably taken it and like run off somewhere. Sarah? You gave it to Sarah? Why didn't you tell me that before? 
It's not here, it's not there, it's not anywhere. I'm gonna get it back. You better stop messing with me, Brent. <laughs> Tell me where my money is. Calm down. You really want me to calm down? I understand you're angry, just... Where is my money? I don't have anything. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know where your money is. I don't believe you. I know you have it somewhere. Tell me where it is. Can you just listen to me? Just hear me out. Speak. Can you get that gun out of my face or at the very least back up? Give me some space. You wanna hear my story from the top? Okay, here it goes. I was sitting on a park bench one day when me and this guy made eye contact. I thought nothing of it. Just a guy sitting, chilling, just another afternoon on a Saturday. He nods his head at me and I nod back. He walks up to me and said hi and I said hi back. We started chatting. He had this kind of stoner vibe to him. I thought he was just high, but it turns out that's just how he is. He's got that chill and hip vibe that I like, kind of out of it, but that's just his personality. Goofy and unorthodox. But anyway, he mentioned how it took him a whole load of confidence to walk up to me and start a relationship out of the blue. Said he just wanted coffee though. And I thought, why not? It's been an odd time lately and he seemed harmless. So we exchanged numbers, got coffee, he got coffee again a few days later, text, talk, FaceTime, and bam. A relationship. Then one day, all of a sudden, he barges into my apartment and he's holding this bag and he's like, I need you to hold on to this for a minute. And I'm like, what is it? And he's like, just hold on to it for me, baby. And I'm like, okay. Then the next thing you know, Greg is being assaulted and I'm staring down the barrel of a 45 held by some crazy girl who thinks I did something wrong when I truly didn't. Then, some strange person knocks on my door and asks about a bag, and I gave it to him because I don't want to be in any trouble, okay? So can you please get that gun out of my face because I'm not ready to die today. Who'd you give it to? All right, let me get this set up. There. Yeah, that looks good. Vlogging's not really my thing, you know, but um, figured I'd give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> so I got a thing. Lately, I've been involved with acting, doing some creative stuff. I've been in the game for a few years now, um, been getting gigs, doing my thing. Slow, but steady. And lately, I got involved with a select group of people doing some projects, and guess what? I'm an action star now. Hey man, Ricky, how's it going? Mackenzie, I got some money for you if you're interested. I'm down, what you got? You may have to fight for it. Bro, look at me. Do you really think it matters? <laughs> you know I'm game. Tell me when and where.
I can't believe I got my ass kicked.
revenge action type thriller. Very basic, but at least it's something. I'm moving forward, getting better at what I do. No stopping. <laughs> Yo, Brent, what's up, girl? Nothing. I'm chill, I'm just chilling. No, I haven't been on any roller coasters lately. No, Brent, I'm not interested because I get nauseous. I'm not interested in going to Disney to ride that with you either. Yes, I know I love Aerosmith, but I don't like roller coasters. No, I'm not going on the Tower of Tower either. I know what they do, Brent. They play a little video and they suddenly drop you. And I'm not cool with it. I'm not okay with that. Yo, okay, yo, calm down. You want to make some money? I've been texting you too much. Things got lost in translation. You want to talk about this? No. What do you mean you just woke up? It's noon. All right. All right, yeah. I'll give Greg or Sarah a call. Maybe one of them will be interested. Yes, I'll text you. Okay. All right, go back to sleep. Okay. Yo, Greg, what's up? I'm cool. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, you're at work? Sorry. All right. I'll uh I'll call you back, man. Okay? All right. Bye. Yo, Jimmy. I got an opportunity for you. Call me back. Hey, Jimmy! Yeah! You want to make some money? Dude, have I got something for you. I have a plan. What do you mean? Obviously it's a well-thought-out plan. I don't smoke weed. My mind is clear. All right, bro. Come on over so we can talk about it in person. Three hours? It's not like I just waited two for you to call me back. Yeah, I know. It's my day off. All right. I'll get us some pizzas or something. Pepperoni and anchovy. What? Anchovy is very underrated. All right. Love them little fishies. Yeah, come on in. What's up, bro? You Ricky? I'm Ricky. Took me a while to find your place. I traveled quite a distance to come here. It's cool. I'm used to it. What's your name again? Just call me The Accomplice. All right. What's your story? Where do you come from? It's about time. I knew you'd come to your senses soon. You want to know where I'm coming from? It doesn't matter. Truth is, I shot him. Right between the eyes. You mess with me and bad things happen. You understand? how my week has been. I woke up rich, hard-earned money, 
12 to 14 hour work days. No sleep, no time for anything else. Just good old fashioned hard work. Working for myself, working for the man. You think I wanted to do that? <laughs> no. But I gotta get ahead and make a living and I didn't even complain until now. So, I'm walking home and all of a sudden a tap on my shoulder. It's Jimmy. I haven't seen him in a while so I ask him what he wants and next thing I know, I'm blindsided by him and some jacked up bodyguard of his and all my money stolen. That son of a bitch! If he wanted a fight, all he had to do was ask for one. But no, he needed a buddy of his to try and act tough and be cool. And now his blood is shed on the concrete ground. And who the hell are you? You think you can intimidate me by playing the silent game? Well, I'm telling you now, you better start talking. Tell me where my money is. Start talking. You have until the count of three. Who are you? They call me Greta. Don't worry about my full name. You won't need it.